Don't worry, Seon City. Though we may be leaving now, we'll be back with the tools to rid this fair city of the poisonous gases that pollute it. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal and welcome back to Akami. Last episode, we got Rao's prayer slips so she can help us enter the sunken ship, which apparently contains a treasure called the Fox Rods, which will enable Queen Himiko to vanquish the evil that has been troubling the capital of Nippon. This episode, we're going to be doing just what I said. We're going to be meeting Rao over by the Lunar Lagoon that overlook, uh, or rather the the lookout for the Lunar Lagoon, so we can open her up. <laughs> That's a very strange way of wording it. So we can lower the tide and enter the ship. Let's go. It may be daytime now, but we have the magical power of Crescent. Although Rao will probably think it's a little bit strange that the moon suddenly came out even though it's morning, but hey, uh, this game, this world runs on our clock, not those of humans. Uh, I can't jump up here. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring forth the crescent moon. It seems very odd to me. I just I just realized this. I, I never really thought about it before. It seems very odd that the ship sunk exactly in the center of the Lunar Lagoon. Almost as if it was meant to sink here so that we could access it later. It's kind of strange. I never really thought about it that way before. But anyway, Rao should be meeting us here. She did say she would meet us here at the night of the new moon and that is definitely the new moon so maybe she's already inside magically somehow uh, that seems to be how this game works they're they're like hey I've been waiting for a long time when actually they were waiting for like two seconds so let's go in and see uh, that undoubtedly she's w in there waiting for us sunken ship which we've been in before so this isn't new Whoops, forgot about that door. It's sealed shut with some sort of curse. I bet this puppy ain't gonna be easy to dispel. Amaterasu! You actually came. And for once you actually didn't, like, beat us here. B busty babe! That's why I'm saying that text box every time it comes out because that's his name for her. Just like he calls, uh, he calls Susano Pops. He calls her Busty Babe. So I'm going to be sticking with that just so I'm honest with the game. I'm not going to be calling her that on my own, but when Isun brings it up, I'll be. Uh, nah, nah. You're already here. Uh, you're here already. Both of you. I'm sorry I'm late. My political duties delayed me. This is the treasure ship you were talking about, babe. Or this is the treasure ship you were talking about, babe? Slow text always curses me. Yes, the fox rods Queen Himiko seeks should be here. It was sunk by the water dragon, and now it's filled with monsters. But my holy powers can easily deal with a few dozen monsters. Well, that's good. Of course, we can too. There's nothing to worry about. Let's go in. That's all fine and dandy, babe. But what about this cursed door here? Was it sealed up like that to keep looters out? Or maybe it's the curse of those who died when the water dragon sunk their ship. That thing's just seething with an intensely evil power. So, there's a cursed door to stop anyone from getting through. I see. That's a neat trick. You got that right. We better find another way in. Hmm? It's time we joined forces, Matarasu. There will be more barriers sealed by magic as we get further inside. When we come to them, I'll use a prayer slip to break the seal. 
So, if you don't mind... What Isun always dreamed of! He always dreamed of having a girl on his ride. I mean, he's... He's definitely, uh... Been proud of... Of the wolf mount he has here, but he's never had anyone to ride in the driver, uh, the passenger seat, rather. So, now he does. So, Amaterasu, handling the prayer slips is my affair, but I would like your assistance in targeting. Don't worry, what I ask is not difficult. You know how to manipulate the brush of the gods, I believe. Use that power to guide the prayer slip from my hand to its target. So, let's practice on the curse bar barring the door, shall we? Uh, it's not really a new brush technique, it's it's just another one of the, I guess I could call them stream abilities, that's actually a very adequate name, uh, where you just draw so something from the source to your target. Uh, nothing really new, no new concepts, it's just new in that we're actually not using a brush technique, but rather Rao. Fantastic! As long as I have my prayer slips, there's nothing to be afraid of. Not even monsters. Enough practice now. Great treasure awaits. Let's go find the fox rods. And we will do that with someone riding us. Uh, whoa. Bro. Uh, sup, ghost? Whoa, 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 whoa! This stupid ghost scared me up to death! Get off me! <sighs> stupid ghost? I didn't know he's gonna attack me. They're imp ghosts. Huh. <sighs> I didn't expect that. They even came at me while I was using my celestial brush. Whoa, what did you just do? You see that? He turned. What? What are you doing? Oh, you're taunting me, jerks. Well, taste this. Boom. Your friend Bob just got totally demolished. And you stay away from me, sir. Yeah, and you, t you die too. Sheesh, stupid ghost. Scared living daylights out of me. <sighs> so this area's accursed. A curse. The, the, I guess that's its thing. And chests. No reason for me to believe that they're actually legit. Because they're chests. Yeah. That, that looks, that looks too easy. Whoa. Just look at these treasure chests. Ha ha ha. We're going to be millionaires even before we find those fox rods. Uh, you know what they say about a pirate's... Well, it's not... Stupid ghost. What? Oh, you... Jerk. You... Jerk game. You just... Ugh. Spider queen head. Really? Uh, that's so scary. It has hair. And it has those pincers and it's laughing at us. Just listen to that. I will be quiet and turn up the volume just so you guys can hear this. Uh, uh, what, what do you do when I come close? Whoop, you, do you do anything? Are you just sitting there? What are you doing? Whoa! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? How do I do? How do I do? How do I do? How do I do? You stupid thing! Oh my! Oh, you're invincible! Oh my word! Of course, this doll would have. Well, and, uh, the dolls are everywhere, and they're. Uh, why? Uh. Well, if you guys have ever wanted me to play a horror game, I guess. This is a good test to see how I'm going to handle it. Uh, that was not pleasant. Holy bone am, I don't really care. I just want to get out of here. I'm not, I'm not egging this. Is that even a term? I'm not, I'm not exaggerating my emotions here. This is, this is legit. I do not want to be here. I just want to leave. Okay. You see, you see these chests, that chest over there? It's brighter colored, right? You know why? You know why, viewers? Because it's actually evil. <laughs> Thought you're deactivated. Can I power slash you? I can. Uh, whoa, you're still alive? That's not fair. That is so not fair. 
jerk thing. Can I kill you? Can I please kill you? Okay, uh, I don't know the official names of these guys, just because I never paid to stick around here or ever remember this place in my life brain mind. Uh, so I'll be putting the official names of those guys on screen right now, and then I'm going to be blowing up that one because that is another of whatever it is, the doohickeys. I should probably give them a name, even though they're, they have official names, at least they must. Uh, dude, you get away from me. I'll kill you. I'll kill you and your family. You get away. I am not kidding. Blow up and go to wherever it was that you came from. <sighs> well, <laughs> 12 minutes in, guys. How do you like the episode so far? How do you like... Oh, they did that. Uh, I thought it was just like it was leering down at us with an insanely long neck, but no. It, they... Uh, uh, skulls, can I kill you? You don't creep me out nearly as much. Human! Oh, I can actually hit you. Son of a gun, I didn't think I could. Uh, I used to be deathly scared of, like, skulls or anything vaguely creepy when I was younger. Like, if I saw a skull, I would literally have nightmares. Stupid spike. Uh, and now skulls don't really bother me, but those, those ghosts, those ghosts just freaked me out. They totally scared the the Laffy Taffies right out of me. I don't even like Laffy Taffies. That's how much you can tell that I was scared by those things. And that that creepy, I'm going to just call it right now, Jezebel head. I call it Jezebel because, I don't know, I guess I should tell this story. Pile bones, okay. That's not creepy at all. Just keep going. I guess I should tell the story. Um, with my friends, I am probably gonna get interrupted by a cutscene right here, aren't I? Okay, I'll I'll explain my story real quick. Uh, when when I was younger, I was with my friends, right? And just jokingly, I made jokes about Nova, about how, it, like, if I had a scratch or an injury or something, I'm like, oh, I, I uh, I was feeding Nova this morning, and uh, I opened her cage, and she reached out and clawed me. And I, I would just make those kind of jokes. They were really funny, and but it, it got to a point where, like, people, for some reason, I I just have this air about me. I guess the crazier story I tell, people believe it. If I tell a story that actually happened to me, like, say I say that I had tonsillitis, pink eye, and all that other stuff, some people don't believe me entirely. But if I say that, I don't know, I. The reason why I moved a couple years ago is because I accidentally blew up my old house with fireworks. People have believed that. I'm not even kidding. They've believed it. And Nova told that one, but they, they believe the crazier stories I tell. So, uh, Nova was like, uh, pal, could you not tell those stories about me? Because people believe them and they're kind of, they're kind of wary around me and cutscene. Oh, great. Well, we have a new enemy, uh, so I'll have to forestall my explanation. This is a... This, these are Jiro and Saburo. Okay, wait, okay. The green one is uh, Jiro, and he is the more aggro one. The orange one right here is Saburo, and it is, it is bad. You, it's a bad man, but you do not want to not look at it. You want to attack it. If left to its own devices, it will cause chaos. It will burrow into the ground and flood the entire arena. So, what you want to do is attack it first and ignore Jiro. Uh, just do constant damage to it and knock off its armor. It may look like you're doing no damage to it, but you actually are in somewhat. Okay, its armor is off. Now I want to go attack it. Oh boy, uh, this is bad. You know what? I want to use some sort of weapon. Uh, the, uh, not godly charm. Let's use... Let's use Steel Soul. Okay, so let's go ahead and attack Saburo and get the uh, armor off. Okay, we do not have a floral finisher for this enemy just yet. And it should also be noted that Saburo is never seen on her own. She's always seen with Juro. Okay, now the Juro's alone. We can just go ahead and attack them. Attack him. Almost dead. Good, and we do not have the, either of their floral finishers. So, I will not be telling you guys what those are. Um, if left to, if 
Saburo is left to her own device, uh, her own devices, she will uh, flood the arena and fuse with Juro to form Ichiro. Uh, no, not the the star player from the Mariners, or now the Yankees. Curse you, Ichiro. Uh, but but rather a shark that is bad news bears because. Uh, he has a lot of mobility in the water, and you don't. So you have to use the lily pads to stay on the surface of the water. So, with that battle out of the way, let's go ahead and continue on onward while I tell more of my story after I go through this cold gate. So, I'm not sure exactly where I left off, but... I... I Nova had told me to... Or asked me to stop uh, telling people these stories, and rightly so. And so I decided, you know what? If people believe this, this crazy ta these crazy tales, uh, I'm going to make up someone. I, I would tell them right after that I don't, but I would make up someone. Um, and I made up uh, the fact that I have a secret sister in between me and Nova. She is six, <laughs> six months older than me, and I believe eight months older than Nova, which ma or younger than Nova, which makes no sense at all. And she lives in our basement, and her name's Jezebel, and she looks like that head ghost yeah so my story's over sort of uh isn't it beautiful <laughs> even a ship doomed by the water dragon can enjoy the starlight but it only looks like this inside the sh it only looks like this inside the ship when there's a new moon as soon as the, su uh, the sun comes up cold seawater floods the ship again yes this ship has suffered a cruel fate poor ship uh you know what that is our cue what we need to do is examine this. Whoa, check it out. This thing's huge. Looks like a humongous balance scale or something. Wonder what it was used for. It's it's only got a weight on one side. That's why I call it unbal unbalanced balance. Uh, just like Brawl and uh, Smash 4 to an extent. Uh, so, oh, Clover first. I should, I should probably deal with the Clover first. Uh, dig this up. So, just like Rouse said, in the daytime, this floods with water. So that's a hint to what we need to do. Uh, besides enjoying this beautiful starlight, because it really is beautiful. Uh, even a sunken ship can enjoy some nice serene beauty. But what we need to do is draw the sun, spoil that beauty, and flood the ship. That's impossible. It can't be daybreak yet. Surely this can't be. You didn't do this, did you, Amaterasu? Your powers can control the very movement of the heavens? Yes, they can. And they can control you and Isun. Camera. Moving closer to <laughs> Moving closer together. <laughs> look, look at that. I could totally control that. I wasn't just I wasn't just saying that. I can actually control her and Isun moving closer together. <laughs> oh my word. That started out as just me kind of doing a joke, but I actually could do it, and it it entertains me so. You see, get give, give, give Isun a kiss. There you go. And down and up and down and up and down. Okay, I need to move on with my life. Uh so map. We cannot get up there because there's no weight to counteract this one, so we can't ride that up. So, I propose that we go backwards and do something. I have no idea what we're going to be doing, but now there are barrels over here. They floated in with the tide. I didn't mean to do that. I can make that with the double jump, I think. Or if I fail at double jumps, I can make it. I can't even make it with that. Yes, I can make it. Okay. And fall immediately into the water. Great. Are you kidding? No. No. Well, you guys get to see Ichiro got it right now. <sighs> okay, the strategy for Ichiro is Ichiro, 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 Ichiro. Uh, no, it's actually not the chant that I used to, say to give the Mariners. It is uh, get on this barrel and... Do I need power slash? No, I don't. Uh, just stay on dry land and when he comes close, attack him. Maybe it'd actually be much better if I had a lily pad so I could jump on that. There you go. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, I need to 
hit him. And, uh, of course I can't hit him. Let's make some more lily pads. Okay, it is to get on dry ground and attack him from that, which is very easily said, but it's almost impossible to do. Would this help? No, probably won't. No, it won't. Oh, it did. Even though it blew up some of my, my land. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing a good thing here. I'm hitting him. Okay, uh, stupid Ichiro. Uh, actually, this would be a much better strategy. Charge this up, dog. And unleash! Oh, wow. Did I kill him? Did I kill him? Yes, I did! Wow. Behold the power of 7 strike, which we've never used before. There we go. I took no damage. Okay. So yeah, that is the Ichiro battle. I do not have his floor finisher because it's actually the same thing as Saburu and and Juro. Uh, but you guys at least got to see that battle. I, I kind of wanted to show off what would happen if they if they combined, and I kind of spoiled it because I didn't expect that to happen. Um, if you guys remember, this is actually sort of a blind run. It to a certain extent, it is a blind run because I've not played this game in a year or so. I've only played through this game once, to my knowledge, uh, and I've uh, the only other time was when I saw some gameplay of it. So, yeah, this is semi-blind run. I know it's going to happen in the story, but not the puzzles. And we're back to the beginning with the creepy floating dolls, and those things are back, but they're underwater, so I don't care. So now what we can do is jump on this barrel and jump up here to get to a new area. Okay, sorry for the cut there. I just had to check one of my collectibles guides just to make sure we're not missing anything. Uh, sorry for the cut there. It really was kind of not unavoidable. I'm not going to say anything is unavoidable, but it was something I felt like I should have should do before we got too much further into here. Okay, uh, what do we do here? We have a cannon, which has electronics in it somehow. So what I think we should do is make cherry bomb. Just just right off, make cherry bomb. Give the cannon what wants. Boom. Okay, now this is kind of a t uh, target practice segment. We just need to get further up on the cannon. And through trial and error, we can hit the different the targets. And actually, this is really easy. Man, this is super easy. Uh, one last one. Three for three. Three for three. Three for three. Ah, we're going to not get three for three. Get up. And let's try this. We're going to get three for four. Yeah, we did! Three for four. And there's a key down there. Snap. I can't grab the key down there. Much less, I can't get down there. So I'm going to actually have to uh, lower the water level by making it night somehow. I don't know if that area that we were there where we changed it is the only area that we can change the water level without having to go out. Actually, no, we can't go outside because if we go outside, then we just close up our entrance. So I'm not sure where else we can change the water level. If the designers were a peach... Oh, Sun Fragment! I, I'm going to act like I knew that that was there, even though I don't remember it. Uh, Sun Fragment! Yay, we did it! Uh -huh. I totally knew that that was there. <clears throat> Not really. And the whole collectible th list checking I did was just my Stray Beads one. Um, yeah. So. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> Sorry about that. But it's all good because we got collectible. Okay. Uh, open area of the ship. No, there's not. <sighs> really. So, question. Actually, wait, 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 wait. No, we can we can remedy this. I just thought of something. Uh, we can't actually. Whoop! Stupid ghost. You, you no. You die. Up. You die. No, I said die. I did die. 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 Uh, die. Don't die. I did. I. I. It's not me. Die. Get on the thing, Amaterasu. Oh my word. Ha. <sighs> Okay, Rao, shoot them foos, fools, foos, I have no idea what I'm saying. Kill them, because they unsettle me. 
They creep me out. Oh my word. <sighs> Stupid ghosts. Okay, we can go down here. Go over here. I'm running out of time this episode. But I don't care. I just want to grab the stray bead. Because that's one of the last things I wanted to get. <sighs> There's an enemy over there, isn't there? I just know there is. Yep, there is. Uh, I'm just calling it now. There's an enemy over here. Oh, oh my word! Oh my word! Oh, no! Where are you going? <sighs> um... That was not the enemy I was expecting. Oh my word. Can I get in here? Please? Please? Get in here! Stupid hand monster. <sighs> Will it attack? What is over there? What is that? Freaks me out. Uh, sparkly stuff in the shape of a person. You can see a head and arms. It's sparkly. It's the guy from Twilight. Because it's sparkly or it's Twilight Sparkle. One, one or the other. I doubt it'd be Twilight Sparkle. It's probably the guy from Twilight. I'm going to have to face him. It's not going to be fun. He's going to send those stupid Jezebel creatures at me. Oh, the reason why I said I call them Jezebel heads is because they they look like how I envision Jezebel. What is that? What is that? That is breathing over there. You know what? No. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to run back here like a scared little girl because that's kind of what I am right now. This is really freaking me out. And <laughs> imagine if I played an actual <laughs> horror game. Uh, I don't like this because it's scary. No, you don't. Get away. Actually, wow, that's a really good way to grind for Doomfangs, which we have a lot of. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode, like I've said multiple times. Next time in Okami, we'll go over there and see what that creepy thing is that's breathing in the water is. Uh, until then, where's the save point? Until then... I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. I can't save. And next time we'll go see the thing, which I've said before, but I don't really care. Um, and if you like this episode, the comment. If you didn't like this episode, oh my, were you? They'll kill you. Then uh, tell. Uh, Tell me in the comments how I could make next episode so that you would like it. Uh, or actually, let's remedy that. <laughs> Tell me how I could make next episode so that I would like it. So I can avoid all these creepy crawlies and black voodoo magic demon monsters. Stupid game. Uh... I'm really just whining at this point. I should pr probably stop. Also, I said that th this episode was... No, I didn't want that. I said that this episode was ending a while ago, and I just realized that I'm still talking. And I don't get it. Why my outros have to take so long. There we go, the moon. The moon and the sun. It's a lunar eclipse, gentlemen. Okay. Now that I have the save point in my grasp, and I was really just talking to you guys so I wouldn't get any more scared... Uh, on the way. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, pal if I want to do s steal someone else's intro, outro like I do frequently, Paladin, a stupid thing, out! <laughs>